Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this beam using slope deflection method. In this beam, the support B sinks by 10 mm. The flexural rigidity Ea is given as 8000 kN meter square. Before starting the analysis, let us see the beam one time. In this beam, there are two spans, span AB and span BC. In the span AB, there is a uniformly distributed load 3 kN per meter and it is acting for the full span. In the span BC, we have a eccentric point load 12.5 kN acting at 4 meter from the point B. The moment of inertia for the span AB is I. For the span BC, it is 2.5 I. Length of the span AB is 8 meter. Length of the span BC is 10 meter. In the point A, there is a fixed support. In the points B and C, there are roller supports. In this beam, we have to find three movements MAB, MBA and MBC. Also, we have to find three reactions RA, RB and RC. In the point C, there will be no movement because it is a simply supported end. So, MCB will be zero. In the slope deflection method, when we analyze the beams, we have to check the number of supports in which slope can occur. Let us see the conditions. In the fixed support, there will be no slope. In the hinged support, there will be slope. Also, in the roller support, there will be slope. In this beam, in the points B and C, there are roller supports. So, the number of supports in which slope can occur is 2. In the point B, we have theta B and in the point C, we have theta C. So, in this analysis, we have two unknowns. If we calculate these two unknowns, we can easily find the final movements. To find these two unknowns, we need two equilibrium equations. The first equilibrium equation can be made in the point C. We know that in the point C, the moment MCB is zero. The second equation can be made in the joint B. In the joint B, there are two moments. MBA and MBC, when we add these two movements, it will be zero. Now, let us find the fixed end movements. First, in the span AB, let us find them. In the span AB, we have UDL, 3 kN per meter, acting for the full span. The formula for the fixed end movements are minus wl square upon 12 and positive wl square upon 12. In this problem, the support B is sinking by 10 mm. So, we have to also find the fixed end movements due to sinking. The formula for the fixed end movement due to sinking is 6ea delta upon l square. This can be either positive or negative. If the sinking occurs on the right side, this movement will be negative. If the sinking occurs on the left side, this movement will be positive. Let us consider the span AB. In the span AB, the sinking occurs in the point B. So, the sinking occurs on the right side. 
Since the sinking occurs in the right side, the formula for the fixed end moments due to sinking will be negative. In these formulas, let us apply the values. W is 3, L is 8. The delta value is given as millimeter. So, we have to convert this into meter. When we divide 10 by 1000, we will get 0 0.01 meter. Let us apply that value. The value of EI is given in the question as 8000 kilonewton meter square. The formula for the fixed end moment due to sinking will be same for both the MFAB and the MFBA. So only one time we have to calculate that and we can apply the same value for MFBA. No need to find it again and waste the time. After the calculations, we are getting MFAB minus 23.5 kN meter and MFBA 8.5 kN meter. Now let us find the fixed end moments in the span BC. In the span BC, there is an eccentric point load 12.5 kN. The formulas for the fixed end moments are minus WAB square upon L square and positive WA square B upon L square. Also, we know that the support B is sinking. So, we have to find the fixed end moment due to sinking. We know that this moment either will be positive or negative. Let us consider the span BC. In the span BC, sinking occurs in the left side. If the sinking occurs in the left side, the fixed end moments due to sinking will be positive. Let us apply the values in the formulas. W is 12.5, A is 4, B is 6, L is 10, EA is 8000, Delta is 0 0.01. When we apply the value of EA, we have to be very careful. For the span BC, the moment of inertia is 2.5i. So, we have to multiply EA with 2.5. Here, we have to be very careful. We know that the fixed end moment due to sinking will be same for both the MFBC and the MFCB. So, no need to calculate for MFCB. Just to apply this value here. After the calculations, we are getting MFBC as minus 6 kN meter and MFCB as 24 kN meter. Now, let us make the slope deflection equations. First, let us make them in the span AB. In these equations, let us apply the fixed end moments. Length of AB is 8. Let us apply that. In the point A, there is a fixed support. In the fixed support, there will be no slope. So, theta A will be 0. Finally, in the span AB, we have made two equations. Now, let us make the slope deflection equations in the span BC. In the equations, let us apply the fixed end moments. Length of BC is 10 meter. Let us apply that. The moment of inertia for the span BC is 2.5i. So instead of i, we have to apply 2.5i. In this equation, we can make the first equilibrium equation. We know that MCB is 0. Instead of MCB, let us apply 0. Then let us take this 24 on the left side so it will become negative. This is our first equilibrium equation.
we have made one equilibrium equation but we need two equations we know that the second equation can be made in the joint b we know that in the joint b mba plus mbc will be zero let us apply the values of mba and mbc from the slope deflection equations when we add the values we have to always keep the numerical value on the right side so that we can apply the equations in the calculator and get the final values finally we have made the second equilibrium equation now we have two equilibrium equations we can use the calculator and solve these two equations if you do not know how to solve two equations in the calculator see the description below there is a link you can click the link and watch the video i have used the calculator and got the values of ea theta b and ea theta c when we apply the value of ea theta b in the equation number 1 we are getting mab when we apply the value of ea theta b in the equation number 2 we are getting mba finally when we apply the values of ea theta b and ea theta c in the equation number 3 we are getting mbc so in this analysis we have calculated all of the moments for mab we got a negative value that means it is acting in the anti clockwise direction for mba we got a positive value that means it is acting in the clockwise direction for mbc we got a negative value that means it is acting in the anti clockwise direction now let us find the vertical reactions first let us take the span ab and find the vertical reactions in the span ab there are two moments mab which is acting in the anti clockwise direction and mba which is acting in the clockwise direction in this span first i am going to find ra for that i am going to take moment about b in this case i am moving towards right hand side clockwise will be positive and anti clockwise will be negative the vertical reaction ra is acting in the clockwise direction so it will be positive and the distance is 8 so 8 ra the udl is acting in the anti clockwise direction so it will be negative when the udl comes we have to multiply with the distance and a distance by 2 then we have two moments 21.6 moment is acting in the anti clockwise direction so it will be negative the 12.3 moment is acting in the clockwise direction so it will be positive finally we are getting ra which is equal to 13.16 kN now let us apply the rule sigma v is 0 and find out rb1 now let us take the span bc and find the vertical reactions in the span bc there is only one moment mbc which is acting in the anti clockwise direction in this span first i am going to find rb2 for that i am going to take moment about c rb2 is acting in the clockwise direction so it will be positive and the distance is 10 meter so 10 rb2 the point load is acting in the anti clockwise direction so it will be negative and the distance is 6 so minus 12.5 into 6 then we have a moment which is acting in the anti clockwise direction so it will be negative after calculations we are getting rb2 which is equal to 8.73 kN then we can apply the rule sigma v is 0 and find out rc 
we have found the reaction in the point B two times. Let us add RB1 and RB2 so that we will get RB. Now let us make the shear force diagram using the reactions and the loads. We can make this diagram. Now we are going to draw the bending moment diagram. Before that, let us make the free moment diagram and the end moment diagram. For making the free moment diagram, we have to assume every span as a separate simply supported beam and calculate the moments. If the UDL is acting for the full span, we have to use this formula. If the eccentric point load is acting in the span, we have to use this formula. Using these values, we can make these diagrams. Let us see how to make the end moment diagram. Using the direction of the moments, we can make the end moment diagram. Now, let us combine the free moment diagram and the end moment diagram so that we will get the bending moment diagram. Now, we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.